Hello friends, this video on motion and measurement of distance part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, whenever we have to describe the motion of an object, it is very important to describe its position because what is motion? Motion is the change in position with time. So if we are not sure of the position of that object, how can we say if the object is in motion or not? So to describe the motion, the first thing that needs to be defined is the position of that object. So position would be that point at which the object is located at a particular instant of time. So let's say this boy is at this point A at a particular instant of time. So we have need to dis first define its position. Only then we can say if the object is moving because now looking at the boy we know that the boy is no more at position B A. It has moved to some other position B. So there is a change in position with time and therefore we say that the object is moving. So whenever we have to talk about motion the first thing that we need to look at is the position of the object. Now that we have discussed so much about motion, motion is all about moving from one case to other. Now when we started talking about motion, we talked about covering the distance. So how do we cover distances? So for, to cover distances, some object has to be in motion. So what are these objects? These objects could be means of transportation. For example, it could be a car which helps us to cover distances. It could be a cycle again which helps us to cover distance. It could be a bus where multiple people can cover a huge number of distance. So basically there are many different modes of transport. There are many forms of vehicle which are used to cover distances either on land, air or water. So not only on land, in, in, in the traditional days there used to be carts like bullock carts or the horse uh, driven carts. So different types of carts were also there which were pulled by animals. So they were also a means of transport. When you look at air or water, you have the spaceships which help to cover huge distances in the space. You have uh, the ship in the oceans, they help you to cover distances through water. You have the aeroplane which helps you to cover distances through air. So these are different means of transportation, different ways by which you can cover distances between two places which are quite distant from each other. So these are the various modes of transport. So in all of them we see that they cover distances, they are all in motion and that is what we have discussed in this entire lesson that what is distance, how do we measure them, when do we know that an object is in motion. So I think now when you look at these different modes of transport, you can associate the term motion with them. You can associate distance and measuring their distance with them. So when we talk about motion, it becomes very important to talk about how an object is moving, whether the object is moving very fast or the object is moving very slow. So let's take an example of a car. So let's say there are two different cars, a red car and a blue car. Now if you look at these two pictures, what do you see? You saw that both the cars were initially at this position. And with time, they changed their position. But did you observe something? So the blue car reached the final destination early than the red car. That's because the red car was traveling very slowly. So this was slow motion. So it was covering, it, it was changing its position, but slowly with time. Whereas the blue car was changing its position very fast with time. And that is what decides whether the motion is slow motion or fast motion. So we say that the red car has a slow motion whereas the blue car has a fast motion. So the red car has covered less distances in the same time, but the blue car has covered more distance in the same time. How do we know which object is faster? So distance moved by objects in a given interval of time decides which one is faster or slower. So when you have two different 
objects. For example, you have a bike and you have a bicycle. Now, if you compare that how much distance did the bike cover in five minutes and how much distance the bicycle covered in five minutes, you would see that the bike had covered more distance, which says that the bike is a faster mode of transport than the bicycle. Similarly, in the previous slide, while we were comparing the red car with the blue car, if you would have compared the distance traveled by both the cars in one minute, you would have seen that the blue car had covered more distance than the red car. So basically, whichever object covers more distance in the same time, that is said to travel faster. So when we talk about whether the motion is slow or the motion is fast, that is where we introduce the concept of speed of an object. Now, speed is something which you, we will learn in our next class, that is in class 7. So in case you are interested to know more about it, you can refer the video lessons of class 7th physics. So speed is something which is introduced to let us know that how fast the distance is being covered by an object with time. So this is... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.